हेलो स्टूडेंट आई डॉक्टर आरिफ पटेल वसंत रामनिक आर्ट साइंस एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज शाला डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट दी टू 302 बायोकेमिस्ट्री इन दिस कोर्स वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस और कंप्लीटेड इन सिलेबस वन ऑफ यू एज अ थ्री लेक्चर्स टुडे वी स्टार्ट द यूनिट नंबर 4 द यूनिट नेम इज द एंजाइम्स Your name is a uh, uh, enzyme, dear friends. We first know about what is mean enzymes. So enzymes are also called as a biocatalyst, the catalysis of life. Uh, catalyst is defined as a substance that increases the rate of chemical reaction without involving in overall processes. Means it is a best example is the catalyst is the the student teacher relationship is a good example as as a uh, catalyst so the student and teacher relationship may be good example to understand how a catalyst work here the teacher acts like a catalyst in enhancing the understanding ability of student a good teacher is always a good catalyst in student life enzyme may be defined as biocatalyst synthesized by living cells so enzyme is called as a uh, biocatalyst synthesized by living cells they are protein in nature colloidal and uh, thermoliable in characters and specific in their actions or enzymes are biological catalyst which accelerates the rate of biological their action or enzymes are biological catalyst which accelerate the rate of biological reactions they are proteins in nature and synthesized by living cells so in simple way that is also called as a biocatalyst which are the most important role in the uh, living uh, reactions they are proteins in nature means enzymes are proteins in nature so the term enzymes was coined by kone in 1878 to indicate the catalysis taking place in the biological system in the human body is composed of different types of cells tissues and other complex organs for efficient functioning our body releases some chemicals to accelerate biological processes such as respiration digestion excretion and few other metabolic activities to sustain a healthy life hence enzymes are pro vital in all living entities which govern all the biological processes dear friends uh, in the definition point of view what are the enzyme first we already discussed in the next point enzymes can be defined as bio, biological polymers that catalyze biochemical reactions majority of enzymes are proteins with catalytic capabilities crucial to perform different processes metabolic processes and other chemical reactions in the cell are carried out by a set of enzyme that are necessary to sustain life so the initial stage or metabolic processes depends upon the enzymes which reacts with the molecule and is called as a substrate enzyme convert the substrate into other distinct distinct molecules and are called as the products the regulation of enzyme has been a key element in clinical diagnosis because of their role in maintaining life processes the macromolecular components of all enzymes consist of protein except in the class of rna catalyst called ribozymes the word ribozymes is derived from the ribonucleic acid enzyme many ri ribozymes are molecule of ribonucleic acid which catalyze reaction in one or their own bonds or among the rnas means dear friends the rna uh, is important role to form by the ribozymes <coughs> enzymes are found in all tissues and fluids of the body catalysis of all reaction taking place in metabolic pathway are carried but by intracellular enzymes the enzymes in plasma membrane govern the catalysis in the cell as a response to cellular signals and enzymes in the circulatory system regulate clotting of blood 
most of the critical life processes are the uh, established uh, on the functions of enzymes it is a few more examples dear friends vidyarthi mitranno baras time la aplyala enzyme also as a catalytic role or biocatalyst catalytic catalyst are most important role in every biological reaction because without uh, many more type of type of reactions are also proceed to role of the important as a catalyst so few more examples in the enzymatic reaction of catabolic processes that is the plasma membrane govern the catalyst in the uh, as a response of cellular signal means any kinds of the physiological or processes are takes place by the plasma membrane it is called a cell membrane that is uh, outermost covering of the every cell are important role in the that is a uh, uh, called as the act of passive transport as a specific reaction cell regulation the cell signalings are most important which type of the components are entered by the living animal body cells or which products are not entered in living animal body cells are prevent the particularly by the outermost uh, layer of the plasma membrane is most important role it is also called as a uh, bsa boundary security force means which are entered or not entered any chemicals as specifically few more chemicals are not entered at this time secondary to role by the uh, enzymes to attaching the specific reaction enzyme substrate complex means or lock and key specifically methods to creating any kinds of the components are also attached to substrate in the form of the coenzymes and also the reactions are proceed so this process also uh, most important role as a catalyst so in the laboratory hydrolysis of the protein by strong acid at 100 degrees centigrade takes at least couple of days the some protein is fully digested by the enzyme in gastrointestinal tract at the body temperature 37 degrees centigrade within a couple of hours hundreds of chemical reactions occur in a bacterial cell leading to cell division in less than 30 minutes this remarkable difference in the chemical reaction taking place in the living system is exclusively due to enzymes the very existence of life uh, is uni magnable without the presence of enzymes dear friends it is also same the uh, cellular signaling by the plasma membrane as same in a living animal body the system is the most important role clotting of blood clotting of blood is the processes in the uh, living animal body we also any kinds of wounds are creating at this time bloods are seized out oozed out we have continuously the clotting of blood this process is not takes place in the living animal body so the living animals are dead because the continuous flowing of the blood in your body also as uh, uh, important to damaging all kinds of bloods are oozed out from the body and also the patients as well as the organisms are also get a different disease and get by the excess blood as the excess bloods are uh, releasing from the body of the living animal so animal is not a natural state to get by the dead so so in the nomenclature point of view the uh, classification of enzymes first known about at the nomenclature uh, and classification of enzyme in next points in the early days the enzymes were given names by their discoverers in the arbitrary manner example the names pepsin trypsin and uh, chymotrypsin convey no information about the functions of the enzyme or the nature of the substrate on which they act sometimes the suffix ac a s e was added to the substrate for naming uh the enzymes example lipase acts on lipids nuclease on nucleic acid lactase on lactose etc these are known as tribal names so it is called as a tribal names as a suffix to ac of the names which however fail to give complete information of enzyme reactions dear friends enzymes are the sometimes considering under two broad categories that is intracellular enzymes and extracellular enzymes according to our names that is intracellular enzymes they are functional role uh, within the cell where they are synthesized 
and extracellular enzymes these enzymes are active outside the cell all the digestive enzymes belonging to this group so the activity point of view or category point of view that is a extracellular cellular intracellular enzymes the international union of biochemist iub appointed an enzyme commission in 1961 to as a classification point of view it is also uh, this committee made through study of the existing enzyme and uh, devised devised some basic principles for the classification of and nomenclature of enzyme since 1964 the iub that is the union of biochemist iub system of enzyme classification has been in force enzymes are divided into six major classes according to their types of reaction these includes so this is a schematic representation are also uh, denoted by the six Uh, types of the uh, enzymes that is according to their type of reaction that is uh, this six first name is a uh, oxidoreductase second is a uh, transferase third is a hydrolyse fourth is a lyse lyse fifth is a isomerase and sixth is a ligase lyse lyse and ligases so this six type so most important uh, activity to creating according to already discuss according to the international union of biochemist iub enzymes are divided into six functional classes and are classified based on the type of reaction in which they are used to catalyze the six kinds of enzymes are oxid uh, are the hydro hydrolyses uh, oxidoreductase as uh, lysis we already discuss in the first slides so in your uh, point of view next that is a uh, uh, first is a uh, uh, oxidoreductase enzymes involved in the oxidation reduction reaction is name there are the two reactions are takes place oxidation plus reduction reaction so in this uh, chemical point of view ah2 plus b to reaction formed by the a plus bs2 so this is a uh, oxidation reduction uh, one hydrogen uh, we also attach to the a group or to divided or break to form by bs2 so oxidation plus reduction so this type the <coughs> enzymes or oxidoreductase your property biochemical property means the enzyme oxidoreductase catalyzes the oxidation reaction where the electrons tend to travel from one form of the molecule to the other <coughs> second is a transferase so this is a oxidoreductase reductase this is second is a transferase so this is a name about same to transferases a uh, transferases enzymes that catalyze the transfer of functional group which of the functional group it transmit hota sir oxidative reductase madhe reaction form hota na involved oxidation plus reduction oxidation tya thikane a kya oxygen form hoto an dusra reaction madhe reduction hota we have the one form is joining the s2 atom and second also b to join the s2 atom as a oxidation with reduction in transferases we also the reaction a minus x plus b to form a plus b minus x so one atom will be added one atom will be reduced so this group transfer to this reaction so the biochemical property of the transferases is the transferase enzyme help in the transportation of the functional group among acceptors and donor molecules so any kinds of the groups are accept any kinds of molecules are donates so this is a specifically reactions are uh, conducting next as a hydrolysis enzymes that uh, 
bring about hydrolysis, hydrolysis of various compounds that is a minus b in reaction point of view plus h2o to form ah plus boh so this is hydrolysis in this reaction the biochemical properties hydrolysis are the hydrolytic enzymes which catalyze the hydrolysis reaction by adding water to cleave the bond and hydrolyze it so this is a reaction is takes place next uh, fourth is a lysis so this also to form lysis in this process uh, we takes as a uh, in a lysis enzyme specialized in the addition or removal of water ammonia co2 etc a the reaction point of view a minus b plus x minus y so ax minus by so one is the addition another is the elimination so these uh, chemicals properties that is adds water carbon dioxide or ammonia across double bonds or eliminate these two create double bonds in specifically chemical reactions next fifth is the isomerases in isomerase enzymes involved in all uh, the processes of isomerization reactions that is a dye reaction form by a points interconversion of isomers the chemical reactions by chemical properties the isomerases enzyme catalyze the structural shifts present in a molecule thus causing the change in the shape of the molecules so and third uh, six is the ligases the enzymes catalyzing the synthetic reactions where two molecules are joined together and atp is used dear friends in this ligases the ligases enzymes are known to charge the catalyst of uh, ligation processes so in this reaction point of view of the ligases a plus b to convert a minus b in first atp to convert adp adenine diphosphate into adp plus one uh, electrical pi molecules are released so in this way this is a briefly the nomenclature and classification of enzymes are studied in the uh, detail point of view this enzyme also uh, discuss the detail to any property view point of view oxido inductase this catalyzes oxidation and reduction reaction example uh, pyruvate dehydrogenase catalyzing the oxidation of pyruvate to acetyl coenzyme this is a reaction of the examples of the this to role by the oxido reductase second is a transferase this catalyzes transferring of the chemical group from one to another compound an example is a, a trans aminase uh, which uh, transferases and amino groups from one molecules to another so this is a trans aminase uh, reactions of the enzyme hydrolysis they catalyze the hydrolysis of a bond for example the enzyme pepsin hydrolyzes peptide bonds in proteins lysis this catalyzes the breakage uh, breakage break of bonds without catalysis example aldose an enzyme in glucolysis catalyzes the splitting of fructose 16 phosphatase and glyceraldehyde uh, 3 phosphate and uh, dihydroxyacetone to phosphatate phosphates as a specific reaction by the lysis in isomerases they catalyzes the formation of a isomer of a compound example phospho glucomutase so this catalyzes the conversion of glucose 1 phosphate to glucose 6 phosphate phosphate group is transferred from one to another position in some compounds in glycolysis uh, glycolysis glycogen is converted to glucose for energy released quickly so these specific reactions are so takes place in isomerases and last is in the uh, example called the ligase uh, catalyzes the association of two molecules for example dna ligase catalyzes the joining of two fragment of dna by forming a phospho diester bond so this is a uh, specifically reactions are takes place in this you so dear friends uh, in your point of view co factors to 
are the non proteinous substances that associate with enzyme a cofactor is essential for the functioning of enzymes and enzyme without a cofactor is called an apoenzyme proteinous substance and we also converting the specifically in our uh, exams uh, proteinous substances also homozymes uh, and enzyme without a cofactor is called as a apoenzyme and enzyme and its cofactor together constitute the homozymes so basic activities are creating in the most important in every chemical reaction so as same for the cofactor is a uh, uh, creating essential for the reaction will be fast in chemical processes or in living organism so dear friends in this point of view uh, we complete uh, there are the three kinds of cofactors present in the enzymes that is prosthetic group these are the cofactors tightly bound to an enzyme at all times a fad is a prosthetic group present in many enzymes coenzymes a coenzyme binds to an enzyme only during catalysis at all other times it is detached from the enzyme nad plus is a common coenzyme and metal ions for the catalysis of certain enzymes a metallic ions is required at the active site to form covalent bonds zn plus 2 is a metal ion cofactor used by number of enzymes so this is a, a specific three kinds of the cofactors prosthetic groups coenzymes metal ions in this form is the most important role so in your uh, mechanism of enzyme reactions or actions is a most important topics in this way that is uh, all kinds of the uh, reactions or enzyme reactions uh, most important to rule by the enzymes any two molecules have to collide for the reaction to occur along with the right orientation and sufficient amount of energy the energy between these molecules needs to overcome the barrier in the reaction this energy is called as activation energy enzymes are said to process in active site the active site is a part of the molecule that has a definite shape and a functional group for the binding of reactant molecules the molecule that binds to the enzyme is referred to as the substrate group the substrate and the enzyme form an intermediate reaction with low activation uh, any catalyst the specific processes are takes place in mechanism of enzyme action catalysis is the prime function of enzyme the nature of catalysis takes place in the biological system is similar to that of uh, non biological catalysis for any chemical reaction to occur the reactant have to be in an activated state for transition state enzyme substrate complex formation is the most important role in the mechanism reaction reaction enzyme main requirement for enzyme catalysis is a substrate yes must combine with the enzyme e at the active site to form enzyme substrate complex so it is a es which ultimately results in the formation of product that is a p means this reaction are takes place e plus s enzyme plus substrate to reactions in the reversible as irreversible to form es that is enzyme substrate complex and e plus p is a product the enzyme substrate complex was first explained by michels and maintain in 1913 which is accepted even today by modern biochemists a few theories have been put forth to explain the mechanism of enzyme substrate complex formation so it also detending figure 4.1 so as a reactions are takes place that is a uh, lock and key models or fishers template theory and second is a induced fit theory or coslands model to activate the role by the enzyme substrate complex formation so this reactions also to get reactant 1 reactant 2 to form by uh, product reactant 1 plus enzyme intermediate uh, intermediate and reaction 2 has to convert product and enzyme so specifically these reactions are also important role in the formation of this uh, the states action and nature of enzymes and so uh, once the substrate is binds to this active site 
they form complex intermediate as we will discuss in the specific way that is the intermediate state where the substrate binds to enzyme is called the transition state by breaking making the bonds we will discuss in the uh, uppermost slides to completion by the until the reaction completes so this also just in first and second that is enzyme substrate complex combining of enzyme and the reactant substrate d plus s es step second disintegration of the complex molecule to give the product es plus e plus p thus the whole catalyst action of enzyme is summarized as e plus s es equal to ep e plus p to form by the specific reaction to whole activity to conducted by the this processes so dear friends in this point of view so the mechanism reactions of enzyme action to creating enzyme separate complex point of view there are the a lock and key model of fischer's template theory this theory was proposed by german biochemist uh, emil fischer's this is the uh, in the lock and key methods that is uh, already discussed in the mechanism of enzyme reactions that is we step first and step second this that is uh, this theory uh, this is a fact the very first model proposed by explaining enzyme catalyzed reactions according to this model the key fits to proper lock or hand into proper glove so the lock and key methods uh, is first to reaction by the enzyme activity second is the induced lock fit theory or coesland model coeslands in 1958 a proposed a more acceptable and accurate model for enzyme substrate complex formation as per this model the active site is not rigid and is separate the essential features of the substrate binding sites are present at the nascent or promising active site the interaction of the substrate with the enzyme induces a fit change or conformation change in the enzyme resulting in the formation of a strong substrate binding site further due to induced lipid the appropriate amino acids of the enzyme are repositioned to form the active site and bring about the catalysis so this is a uh, induced uh, fit theory for coesland models and c is a substrate strain theory in this theory models the substrate is strained strained due to the induced conformation change in the enzyme it is also possible that when a substrate binds to the performed active site the enzyme induces a strain to the substrate the strain of substrate leads to the formation of product the concept of substrate strain explains the role of enzyme in the increasing the rate of reaction so in this way the enzyme activity or reactions are explained by the three state that is a small a state lock and key b induced lock theory or coesland models induced lipid theory and third is a substrate strain theory these three theory are most important role in the mechanism reactions of the enzyme so next the mechanism of enzyme catalysis are this process are carry on in a reaction point of view detail discuss in the next lecture dear friends uh, stay home stay safe thank you thank you